Alrighty then, guys, I'm Arrow in the Knee, and we're still on our road to number one again. We're about 50th at the moment, uh, maybe a bit lower. Um, and I've also changed a bit of the Shadow deck that we're playing. We're playing one extra dragon. We took out the Darkon dragon and the Eclipse Wyvern. Didn't really like it that much. So that's a cool thing. And let's just jump into a game because that's what we do. Uh, I don't want to play against this guy, though. He is too high ranked, and they always play the same. They always play uh, stuff like um, what are those chain burn things and just just stupid stuff I'd prefer to play against other Shadows or Burning Abyss you know it's, it's just not fun when they do that so start rock is good okay good times we'll have oil so we get to go first I think T set uh, actually, more than a T so I think I'm going to set the Shadow Fusion as well. It's a, uh, it's such a good card. I couldn't, but like when I first saw it, I was like, "That's quite a good card," but I didn't actually kind of realize how good it was. Um, a lot of people might think, "Oh, why are you setting two cards when you have Denko Seka?" But the reason you do it is because I'm probably going to be using this to, um, to fuse. Um, I could go Shadow Fusion, go into Construct right now, and uh, use Dragon. In fact, that's quite a good idea. Um, we're gonna drop the. We're gonna drop Seca and Lizard. This allows us to get two in the grave. So the Lizard, we're gonna drop. Uh, we're gonna drop Dragon with one of them. So we'll do that. And the other one, we're gonna drop probably Falcon. Cause Falcon's good. So use Falcon's effect, use Dragon's effect. So we gain quite an advantage off this, and hopefully we hit a good uh, back card. It's always a nice thing when it happens. Necro Valley Tomb, so we're playing against uh, Valley, which means that I'm happy to just like start swarming the field now, as fast as I can. Um, so we're gonna set Lizard, always a good thing to do. Um, they will play stuff like Dimensional Prison, and Leo is very good against that. So, you know what, I'm actually gonna go into Leo here. Um, we also get Construct's effect when you get Fusion back, you know, just, just because. Um, let's go for some damage. Uh, get rid of the dragon. So this is um, a lot of damage here. I'm not sure if I want to try for game. Uh, we'll see. Because I could I could go Elshadol Fusion and make another Construct. Actually, it wouldn't be game. It wouldn't quite be game. Um, I, I would prefer to just set this. Uh, I'm, I'm way far ahead now. Um, you could Regeki or Dark Hole, but <clears throat> I'd get Lizard's effect, I would get uh, White Dragon's effect. So I don't really mind too much. So your Valley, he, he drew some really bad cards there. Um, his kind of deck doesn't really go well against me because he'll play like three three dimensional prisons. Um, so yeah, three dimensional prisons. He'll be playing a lot of dead cards like Valley and uh, the Necro Valley Tomb that just absolutely can't... I mean, he probably has five cards in his deck that can deal with Leah, and that's it. We, we win that one outright. And he's running um, a complete counter to my deck as well, so... Let's uh, jump into another game, because that's what we do. That's how this that's how this works out. Um, I thought it was going to load then. I was getting scared. Rock! Nothing beats Rock. That's fine. Rock. Oh, uh, scissors! No! Nothing beats Rock! I should have known! So we open actually very good. A light shell fusion. It's all good, just so long as he doesn't. Okay, that's good. I can deal with that. Um, I'm probably going to summon shell dragon and just go for some damage. And if he changes something, I will probably just shell fusion and make something. One of the cool things about El shell fusion is um, you can go. Well, they'll special summon something like uh, I don't know. They'll they'll do the uh, burning abyss thing. And then you can make um, Winder as a chain, which is fantastic because they they they've special summoned something and then they can't special summon anymore. It's as opposed to having the one Winder uh, shut down. Like you you can only spe they can special summon zero times. Uh, so Noble Knights, it looks like. Um, so this is Caliburn. This is one that destroys Spellatrap, is it? No, this is the one that makes them gain uh, life. Okay. And this, this one is, what does this one do? Tight one face card on the field and destroy it. You know what, I'm going to let that go, because then I get to kill his face down. 
So Dragon's Effect, you kill the face down. I don't want to kill his Noble Arm card. That would be done. So there goes Lance. I'm always happy with that. Uh, he gets to do gain 500 life. So I'm going to be taking 23 here. Unless I want to drop... Yeah, I'm... Oh, what does this do? Uh... So this person, you can target one Noble Knight card you control. In fact, um, hmm, actually, I got an idea. Face count up there. Uh, <laughs> see, I could do that now. Um, you can target one Noble Knight monster you control. Equip this card from your hand or graveyard to that target. You can only use this effect once per turn. The equipped monster gains 300 attack and gains the appropriate effect. If all right, what is it? It's dark, right? No, it's a light. So it would. If the equipment wants to be destroyed by card effect, you can destroy this card with uh, Sure, I, oh, I can't stop it from equipping. Uh, I gained 300 as well. That's nice. Uh, so battle phase, I'm just going to fuse from my hand, I think. So let's do that. We'll drop Lizard. We can also... No, we can't do a Dragon, actually. That would be stupid, because we've already used it once this turn. Um, so we'll make Construct using Lizard and Honest. going to use both effects. We get to drop two here. So I'm going to go with... Hmm, I'm not sure. Because Falco would be stupid. Because they need to just kill it. So I'm going to drop... Um, actually, Shadol Roots and maybe Beast? Yeah, let's do that. Let's drop Shadol Roots and Shadol Beast. It's Shadol Core, apparently. Um, Get fusion back. I'm gonna pop my face cam back down there because I, I think that's the perfect place for it. I can't wait to get a green screen. It's gonna be nice. And now he's now he's got to uh, either attack in or whatever. He's he's got kind of a problem against construct. It's one of the good things about um, Shadows versus this deck type, which is fantastic. Um, so if I attacked into this guy, it hasn't been normal. It hasn't been special. I'm sorry. So that wouldn't happen. So I think Black Luster would be a good idea. Uh, dragon. And then we can banish it. Goodbye. And imagine Lance. That won't work. Don't be stupid. Uh, so 28. Let's see. Can I kill him? Yeah, I think I can. I'm not sure on the maths because I couldn't be bothered. Uh, no, I think he'll have 200 left if I did this. Yeah, he'd have 200 left if I did that. Uh, which I'm probably going to do anyway. So let's fuse. Make another one. And there we go. So another win. Uh, let's have a quick gander at our uh, 47th now. We're, we're climbing. We are climbing, guys. We are getting this done. We are really getting this done really happily getting this done um i'm gonna get a green screen at one point so you see the face cam it's like just very chunky uh instead of that it would just you would just be able to see my like my head floating <laughs> so that that'd be nice it would be very nice um i would like to start another game please uh, i think i think we've had um a decent chunk of like a decent chunk of games uh, per video, so I'm happy about that. And we beat rock and paper, always good. Um, so we can make a construct, pretty happy about that. Uh, I prefer to do it in his turn though, because if he sets something and then I go dragon uh, into his back cards in the end phase, I absolutely love that move. But there's a, there's a lot of stuff you can do. So we'll do this one last game and then we'll uh, then we'll call it a day. Hopefully this one isn't like 20 minutes long. I've had, I've had a game that was an hour long and I won it because uh, he was he almost decked me out and um, I had what's that um, uh, astral force the one that you can get back to your hand uh, from the graveyard instead of drawing and I had one card left in deck and I just kept getting it back to my hand. Fucking amazing move and slowly just whittled him down to zero cards. Oh, okay, that happened. Uh, well, we won another game. God. Uh, 43rd now we are. We're climbing. We are climbing, boys and girls. Uh, that's not me. 
the hell's going on there? Let's play against Ochimaru. Orochimaru. Okijimaru. Okabara. Oh, he doesn't want to play me. Oh, apparently he does. I turn, I turn myself. Oh, well, sure, why not? Let's play. You let me go first. Yay, I'm so happy. And I actually have been really bad. Um, so, foolish. Not sure what to drop. <laughs> I'm really not sure what to drop here. Um, I guess Lizard into... Falco. I guess, yeah, that's pretty much the most solid move here. Because, I don't know, it's just, it's just very safe. Because, I mean, what are you going to do? It's kind of hard to get around that move, to be honest. So, like, the rest of my hand is really bad. Like, really, really bad. I would have summoned White Burster and maybe set this guy, but yeah. So, Photon Thrasher, what are we playing against? Are we playing against one of those... Oh my god, Gellendua! I remember I played that at the 2007 Nationals. And, um, yeah, it was shit. I thought, hey, this is like Spirit Reaper, it's so amazing. I was like, yeah, that wasn't very good, was it? So, what we get in here? Yeah, it's one of these decks. One, I don't even know what they call this, because I, I see people playing it all the time. It doesn't really work that well for them. And and I'm like, what is this deck? It's like, it, and they get Kage, Kage to Kage thingy. Or Masked Chameleon, yeah, they both work. It's just, it's, I don't know, man. It's strange. It's very strange. So he's going to hit into my Falcon and I'll be able to get a Lizard back, which will kill his guy, which is nice. Um, the rest of my hand's a bit weak, though. Don't like that. Because he's always going to be able to make more stuff. Oh, I see. Gillandu is in there because he's got zero defense and he's a mass chameleon. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Um, just thinking what I could do with the Lizard. Depends on what I draw, really. That's a good card to draw. That is a very good card to draw. Um, so let's shut off Fusion. Uh, it's kind of good because if he has Emptiness, we can uh, waste the Emptiness when we flip it. But no, um, this is actually very good. So I'm going to go with uh, Construct. And we're going to drop with this. The Light will probably be Deco. So drop Deco and maybe Beast. Two beasts in hand, we don't want to drop one of those. Or, or the dragon, because back cards are always going to be good to drop. Um, yeah, let's drop dragon. We didn't want to drop lizard. That would be stupid, because we have one on the field, but we want to use the effective. Um, and then probably beast from the deck, I would imagine. Or we could drop Shadol, um, Shadol Core and get the the Shadol Fusion back. I think that's actually a very good idea, you know. Yeah, let's do that. Let's drop... Let's drop Core. Because he's going to be exceeding all day long. I want to keep a Shadol Fusion in my hand. So let's flip some in this lad. Use his effect. Kill the guy. So we don't have to Regeki, basically. And we'll get 4,000 free damage here. Uh, actually, we can get a little bit more. Get a little bit more. A little bit more damage. So let's let's hit it. Let's hit this hard. And I'll probably tribute set the Shadol Beast uh, with the Wide Burster, and then I can get the um, oh what's his name back? Oh, I can't remember what his name is. The black one, black black dragon serpent. It's Coella Serpent, isn't it? See, the thing is, he's going to be able to make lots of stuff every turn but it's too like not lots of stuff you'll be able to make one big thing a turn which is not good enough really i'd say so we get that we got a lot of damage which is fine we could go to vragma zero or castell i don't really think that's the best move i think the best move is just to tribute set using that we get coella serpent and i think the call is going out bye and um i think that's a pretty good move guys I think we think we won that one. Oof. So his his move is basically mass chameleon. Um, okay, so randomly gets back King of Feral Imp. Why? All right. Okay, I I actually don't understand that. But Mask Chameleon, I would have thought he would have got something else back and then made a 3-4 star. 
like the one that bounces up like the Bujin. I don't know, guys. I'm not 100% what he's going for here. They should make like Mega Exceeds where you have like two four rank fours, like gold ones or something, and they make special extra Exceeds, and they just go on. You just keep fighting. What the fuck did he just do? Is that a tuna? Oh, Mask Chameleon's a tuna. What the fuck? I did not know that. Seriously, that's actually quite interesting. Uh, that kills Construct. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That beats my Construct. Um, I still think I win though. I like I like this guy. I just wish there was a fire monster I could put in the deck. But yeah, that's a thing. Oh man, you can do it. I would scoop if I was him because I don't know. I just I just have too much going for me here. I mean, he'll kill this. I'll get back my Shadow Core. I have Shaw Fusion for next turn. It's it's just bad because he's just got like these on the field. It's not good for him. I, l I like the the Earth Shadow as well. Very good card. So let's see. He he should ram this into this. Or no, he shouldn't ram. He shouldn't ram. He should uh, attack this into this. Oh no, he did it wrong. He should have killed my construct. Um, just drop Deco, I guess. Actually, that was a bit of a silly move. Because uh, I could have just shut down this back card here. But then again, I don't think it's going to be that good. Okay. He knows how to shoot all fusion. Should know, at least. Uh, so, shoot all fusion. Um, let's make the... Make another construct, shall we? Uh... Drop Honest from the deck, and we will drop Star Dragon. Because he, he could tribute the uh, Status Dragon to kill my... the Dragon's effect on this, but it's, yeah, it's a thing. I, I can't see him winning here. I could just Regeki once I've killed this. Because he has, he has to tribute that. Assault Mode, oh my god! Assault Mode activate, that's hilarious. Um, has he special summon this turn? Um, because that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Hmm, can I win when he has a salt mode activate? Yeah, I can, I can. Um, just thinking, is there anything I can do here? Nah, okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What do I want to send to the graveyard now? Guess it'd be Falcon. Regeki pretty much has to tribute the lad, and I can just get through. I, I like Assault Mode Activate, it's a very cool little deck. Them Assault Mode decks. So he kills my Regeki, and then I just attack the game, I guess. Yeah. Alright then, guys, uh, that was fun. Let's uh, have a gander at our ranking now. We are rank. Come on, update. You can do it. Fingers crossed it pops up. Uh, I will talk about nonsense right now. Team. My team has zero everythings. Uh, is it going to pop up? Is it going to pop up? I don't think it wants to pop up. Uh, well, we were 47th last week. I don't remember. I, have we lost a game yet? I don't think we've lost a game in the entirety of these videos yet. So we're, we're, we're climbing. Um... Well, that doesn't want to show up. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time for another Yu Gi Oh! Bye!